Wow, this is Terrence Gangster Williams, aka OG Giggity, aka Mr. Answer Right Back, aka the People's Champ, Terrence Gangster Williams. Man, didn't I tell y'all? I told y'all I wouldn't be surprised if men was going to start coming out on P. Diddy. Brother Love. Come on, man. They all they coming out of the woodworks now. Ever since that, that that first lady file, now everybody coming out with stories. Oh, he did this, he did. Oh, they down, man. They know they know how to drag a man through the mud. Now, when he was in the mud, Pauls, y'all wasn't tripping. It was all good. When Diddy was dipping and take that, take that, take that, that was all good. Now, everybody coming out. Oh, I want a piece of the, I want. Okay, now y'all know Diddy a gangster too now. Diddy drop a bag in a minute now. Around here playing on crackhead games now. But listen, this is what's crazy, man. <laughs> Look at this man say, yo. This is random, but my name is blank, and I was SA'd by Diddy and a friend of his on April 15th, 1989 in DC. It has taken a lot of strength for me to get to this stage of self-assurance, huh? but I now so, know. Diddy been taking butt from people since college. Now, we don't know. This might go all the way back to high school or middle school. We don't know, but we do know one thing. He is doing something. He have done something. So this man, that boy, that, that man broke down the detail. Somebody still got the clothes, so you know what? He just knew. He said, I guess in his mind, one day Diddy gonna be a star. Now, which brings up, because Diddy done been around Mace. And Mace ran off to go be a pastor for a few years to get himself together and he came back. Now I made mad with Diddy dissing him and stuff. So now we gotta have a talk. We have to have a talk because Mace and Diddy was real, real close. Did Diddy try anything on Mace? Did he, what's going on? Because he's a bad boy for life now. Did Diddy try anything? We need to know. I need to know did Diddy try anything. It's just a lot of stuff going on with Diddy, man. It's crazy, bro. Sean. There's a lot of stuff going on with Sean. That's right, Sean John. <laughs> Say yo, Sean. Then, I seen a picture with him kissing Mama Love. It was a little peck. Bop. But you know, as an adult, how the Chicago guys say, it hit different. When you're an adult, putting your lips on mom's lips. No. Despicable. Can't kiss mom like that. Kiss mom on the forehead, on the jaw. And that's that. You ain't going to the lips with that thing. That's just a little too perfect. That, that, that kiss, what I saw, that just remind me that, that Diddy, um, that Diddy really took and, uh, had something going on as a child. That's what that reminded me of. That Diddy had something going on as a child. And if he did, oh man, that explains his sickness. And Diddy needs some help. And got enough money now. He got enough money to go get him some help. And go help some more people and some, and some more stuff. So we know that part. We know he got, he got enough to get it together. So Diddy, you got to get it together, my brother. Got to get it together, play boy. Because they coming for you, but... but like I say, you were smart. See, you wasn't like a lot of them guys that get that money, spin it, blow it on the way it's at, and now when you're time for lawyer fee, you got to go from me or Kickstarter pay. Nah, Diddy, you were smart, but you jacked a lot of people too, I heard. You would be some people out there, royalties, and kept all kind of stuff. I heard you arguing with the locks on, on the phone. Uh, somebody sent it to me. But um, it was a while back, though. But still, you was able to get to some money, put it up, and you made a lot of money. Diddy made a lot of money. So, the people coming to collect. That's just how I be, bro. The bigger you get, the more money. You got that song. The more the more money you make, the more problem. Yeah, you, yeah, you they got the song. So, you knew that was coming already, bro. They, they at your top, man. That's crazy. Man, listen. And it always be a lot of dudes that be thinking they all oh, high. So, Diddy, Diddy. Uh, be the one get caught up with the bull. Be the one be caught up with the bull, man. Got all kind of track records, man. It's crazy, man. I don't like that it's going on like that for you, though. Because 
a lot of us paid attention to your blueprint, how you did your thing, how you come up. So now, people looking like, man, this was my guy, this was my hero, this was, now he, but, because there's a but in there, pause, you like but. Um, it's still something where you can still say, the business wise, I still want that blueprint. What did he did, the music, how he got the clothing, how he did this, the moves he made. A person still could say, you know what? I'm gonna still take that part of it and make something happen and put something together. So you ain't got this all the way just give up on Diddy like that, y'all. So we still got certain things, you know, we can look at and say, okay, yeah, I like, okay, Diddy did this, Diddy, you know what I'm saying? So, and then, this guy coming from college with it, we don't know what's up with that. Because it seems to me is this. You saying all this happened way back when, you didn't file no police report, you ain't tell on the man, you ain't do none of that. So, bro, you like that, bro. You down bad. Now you want to come with the, the other gang with people playing them crackhead gangs. Now, you, no, man. That's been a long time that I think about it, man. Been some, man, that had to be over 20 years. Because did it and it fit it, right, y'all? So, that's about 30 years then. If that's the case, you took that stuff from Diddy. Now, all of a sudden, you want to come out now? Nah, I ain't going with that. I'm going to be Diddy Lawyer on this one. Diddy, get at me. We're going to fight this one here, man. Yeah, we're going to fight this one here because this boy coming back 30 years later, 30 something years later, time out. Yeah, hey, so that's crazy. So, listen. But one thing we, one thing all of us can learn from this be careful what you do, be careful who you hang around, and be aware of who and what you are around. Because in this day and time, well, people just lay on you, play dirty. I'm talking about there's some, there's some nasty people out in this world. They will play like they cool with you, sleep around you, hang around you, and then boom, I got something for you. But you know what hurts them the most? Success. Oh, that killer. That success? See, when you when you successful what you're doing, oh, they be this how y'all say they be fighting. Okay, yo, they be fighting with, you know, because they, they, they'll try their best to bring you down. But you know what they fail to realize? Whatever God have for you, they can't take that. Whatever God have for you is yours. Ain't nothing they can do about it but to sit back and watch you be successful. While they sit back and be miserable, plotting, playing. Guess what God said? He the best of planners. That's right. So with that being said, y'all know my motto. Let's say no to drug. Let's stop the violence. Put the guns down. Make sure y'all get tested for HIV and AIDS because y'all need to know y'all status. I got the non-profit, they need us. The Instagram, they need us. The third Instagram, they need us. They need us third ward. Uh, the movie, the boys at war. Uh, the reality show, Life at the, uh, the Feds. That's what I'm gonna go with that for right now. Check out my merch. Thank y'all for all love and support. Mwah.